We've had no new antibiotics developed since the 1980s. We won't have anything to be able to manage infection of any type if we continue to overuse them. If we don't look at it seriously now, we are in a very dark place. I'm a full-time working mum, got three children, Isla who's seven, Finn five and Ivy four. So I ended up having three sections really close together. Finn was a really, really good baby. I couldn't just cuddle him because I was getting sort of stabbing pains still in the scar. I was just in so much pain and quickly identified that I had a wound infection. I ended up on antibiotics. When Finn was eight months old and I found out I was pregnant with Ivy, my consultant was alarmed. It made me feel worried. It was really terrifying knowing that that was going to stretch. You get scared of being poorly as a mum. You worry that if you get too ill, you're going to end up in hospital and you're going to have to leave them behind. I'm Karen Uzi. I'm Professor of Skin Integrity at the University of Huddersfield. I like the fact that we're able to research in areas that really make a difference to patients, but also to patients' families. AMR is an umbrella term and it stands for antimicrobial resistance and we're talking about that bacteria, those bugs being resistant to antibiotics, antimicrobials, antifungals and antivirals. Our whole aim of wound management is to prevent wound infection. When a patient develops a wound infection, it becomes quite painful. It can really be quite life-changing. We can't always prevent it, but we can identify it at an early stage. In the fight against antimicrobial resistance, we're using strategies that we call antimicrobial stewardship strategies. We've got a range of non-medicated wound dressings that we're able to use in our toolkit. One of those is Sawback technology. What it does is it binds, inhibits and removes bacteria off the wound bed, which makes it a really good thing to use in the fight against antimicrobial resistance because it's not donating an active antimicrobial into the wound bed itself. We developed the wound infection framework as a way of trying to standardise care and support clinicians in their decision making. We chose sore back dressings initially because we wanted to be able to use them on all patients across our organisation. The results of the framework were really encouraging and we saw a significant reduction in the use of bactericidal wound dressing products. Remember the function, it binds, inhibits and then removes the bacteria. We treat the local infection, the patient doesn't need antibiotics and that is the ultimate aim of antimicrobial stewardship, to just keep the antibiotics to the patients that really need them. When developing an antimicrobial stewardship strategy, the two key areas you need to remember is to educate everybody and then implement that strategy. We need to think about antibiotics as being like a diamond. They will be very rare if we don't look after them now and don't take action and have serious interventions. They applied the dressing in theatres. I didn't give it a second thought. It was what appeared to be a comfortable dressing. It was really reassuring that when the dressing came off, I could see straight away it wasn't red. It was a really neat, nearly invisible scar. No signs of infection. I felt different. I felt well. It was a really good experience. I genuinely didn't have to worry. I could just forget about it and, and carry on with making sure I could be the absolute best mum that I could be to my babies. <laughs>